stay it. Guaranteed. It's the fanciest way to go. Oh my. <laughs> we found a better way for him to kill this guy. <laughs> the most BM value possible. It hurts so much. Oh! Yo, Dan! Just saying. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So, today we are doing the Dino Roots deck with Spidow, uh, featuring this card over here, the Starch Lord. Now, um, the idea of this deck is you have three types of dinosaur cards you have the Little Velociraptor Hatchling. Uh, this is actually a very versatile card because it just costs one, and every time you draw a card, this will grow bigger and bigger, and you get a lot of value out of this. The One of the more powerful cards is Triceratops. This is Bullseye, and it grows not only in attack, but also in health every time you draw a card or conjure a card. And this one is actually two for the price of one. They team up, and they grow in attack every time you draw a card. So we have plenty of card draw in this deck. We have the photosynthesizer which not only makes your one of your dinosaurs a little more healthy also again conjures a card you're not going to really run out of steam very often this deck is how much card draw it will trigger all your dino roars same thing with high voltage current uh same thing with the primal walnut which this actually always conjures a late game card so it sort of makes up for the lack of uh late game cards uh in this deck um, so, and you also have Starchler, which will conjure a card every single turn, plus every dinosaur we are running in this deck is a root, so if you play Starchler at first, even your little cards, this is a 1 cost 1, 2, this will actually be a 1 cost 2, 3. The idea is to keep on pumping up your guys, you don't want your dinosaurs getting removed, so you gotta play them carefully in a time you'll be able to protect them, and once they get big, then you wanna start removing your opponent's uh, minions off the field every single turn using Shem Rockets, this is basically one of the finishers, Barry last uh, grave busters etc in order to finish off your opponent hope you guys enjoy this is gonna be a lot of fun a lot of luck in this deck here we go i've actually played uh with this deck a nice amount uh i just changed banana bomb to berry blast i feel like that's gonna be a little better doing a little extra damage i've been playing offline uh with this deck it's actually really really fun so i'll show showing you my new favorite deck you guys for the plans Keep it going. Alright, what was the thing? I'll start looking at people's decks after I've played a game already. Let's concentrate on this one. Um, what was the game I was supposed to look at? Thank you so much. Hey! Keep it going. So I keep double high voltage current and just make this into a berry deck. Yep. <laughs> Alright guys, it's a berry deck. Every once in a while you'll get a couple of these and then, so these will both... Oh my god. Both of these will conjure berries. Oh my god. We have the answer to any kind of... Oh, oh here we go. This will actually be good against pets. We have the answer to, to what's it called? The, uh... Zookeeper! Ooh! My brain's on slow mode today. Why is he running Skunk Punk? Sigh. Thank you, Ribsy. Gambit. Gambit. Oh, what is Gambit? Is it a mobile game? I'm just seeing a bunch of, uh... <laughs> I could go with Meteor. I could develop you also. Uh, is keeping this alive important? In fact, yeah, why don't we do this play? This is fine. What's in the box? Late Game Boy? Yes. So I uh, can stand on uh, no. Okay, this is the, like the all basic deck. I think if you run Starch Lord, you automatically go against all basic decks. That's just how that works. You have a higher percentage. Have you ever wonder if your child will be president one day? Nope. I've never wondered that. Did they get skunk punk before you guess? You know it. Uh. 
Um, should I go for this just because of berry value? I think so. It also makes this able to kill the flag zombie next turn. So we're, we're just going with berries. You guys are not seeing how this deck is, is supposed to be played at all, but it happens to be high voltage currents is carrying us through this early game. Really? Nerf skunk to zero over one. Hey! This seems fine. We got Babies are Canadian. Skunk Zero One is better than One One. Oh, here we go. We can go with Grave Buster. I think it's better. What's in the box? <laughs> you piece of trash. Uh, this is good. I, w I was born in Minnesota, but they were born in Canada. Nationality always gets by where you're, which country you're born. What is the state of BBC Heroes? <laughs> I don't know. I'm having fun with it. That's all I know. That's all I know, you guys. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Uh oh. Spaghettios. It almost seems worth it to just go with this now. Wait, I'm gonna heal you. Heal his face. I think it's these two. Keeping this 5 2 alive. It'll actually be a 7 2. Oh, snap! This also then dies. La di da di da. We are protected! And. Is this leafy? It is. I was wondering from the other day. Hello, Tate Alexandi. Thank you so much. Man, everyone's being nice today. Wait, so what's Gambit? Is it a mobile game? I don't know what Gambit is. Is it has to do with destiny? Uh, we're one and We're just chilling against this pet deck. Keep it going. That wasn't really the deck, you guys. Lover is sending me Tempo Godzilla. Uh, yeah. deck, kind of. Why are you running? If it's a Tempo deck, why would you run Onion Rings though? <laughs> I don't know about onion rings. Mm, and healer. Maybe. I guess if you're making trades, you don't really want there to be a catch-up mechanic. I don't know about this. I'm probably just a better finisher instead of the onion rings. Is PvC Heroes pay to win? Um, it does take a long time to grind the cards for you to play, so sort of. But it's possible. There are definitely people who have played this game. Completely free to play. Oh, there's a lot of people here. I'm not able to keep up with the chat, so my apologies in advance. I'm gonna try to try to do it. Do I go with this? Kind of weak against something. I'm gonna do this on two. Very often you play this on two with something, particularly if you have photosynthesis size in your hand. Yeah. 
Pinja Colada. Yes, we got it. We got it. So I, maybe I shouldn't even back these up. I should probably. Well, what about? What can he teleport in? Uh, uh. All right, we'll do it like this. This is gonna be a two-four now. It'll be a three-four, and then we'll play this little four-four. This is really. This is gonna be amazing. <clears throat> be good, ladies and gentlemen. One hundred ninety-three people. Hot damn ice. Hey, 2017. You're being so generous. Thank you so much. Playing for three years, still missing half the cards. Oh, baby. Uh, I think this is the play. What's our opponent gonna do here? Rocket science when we draw a card? I mean, it might be just good to spread the, spread the love. Should just buy PVZ Heroes from EA. Wonder how much that would cost. I wonder what the price tag on this game is right now. That would be hard to do though. It tells me they would sell it too. I'm not sure about this. I don't think there's much our opponent's gonna teleport in. I think it's just dinosaur. I don't think we play this either. Just because it's sad against... Well, our opponent can have Acid Rain. It's sad against environments, though. Someone said there's only one full-time employee working on it. Yeah, they, they laid off almost all the stuff. Oh, here we go. This doesn't feel scary. Bloons. I, I wouldn't feel happy playing Bloons. What is this play? It's a 2-1! Is it gonna... Wow. It doesn't even trade well. That was crazy. What would I change this game? Just add more content. You don't have to change anything. Hey! Worst hero on both sides in your opinion, Fry. Also, I wonder if there will be a set 5. That's what we're all wondering. That's what we're all wondering. Uh, I think it's just this. I think it's just this. Yep. Oh, oh, oh three-handed chomp, are you kidding me? <coughs> I don't know what this guy's doing. I put more effort into the game than the company does. Uh, the problem is, is that if we play any trick, this dies because it leaves the environment. Ugh, not a great play. It really just ends up doing two extra damage. I'll try to play a trick of the swords this turn. If he plays a big card, we have the shamrock. Yeah, I could really just play this dinosaur here. Nice to have a... Okay, so I'm gonna go Starch Lord and this, I guess. So this is just gonna die now. Stupid squirrel! Get out of here, squirrel. This piece of squirrel garbage. Yo, Dad! <laughs> the squirrel has died! Uh, oh no! No, the buff actually makes this worse! I don't know why uh, I was so intent on buffing this, but actually this dying would have been better. Uh, fine. It's fine. <laughs> Dude! Oh, uh, what was the other thing? ATS Llama? Budget Tempo deck? I would run some groceries though. Or fertilize or something. There's too many environments in this deck. Get rid of those with some gear things, dude. You need some threes. Also. Oh, here we go. Ah, this was this was pretty bad. Uh, we can go Starch Lord and Potato, or we can just go three to chop up. I 
I think three out of well, no, this is probably probably actually better for tempo. I kill everyone. Looks like he's trying to do some huge play with the OTK, so we'll do it like that. He's gotta cover that environment. Starch Lord, it's amazing. Look at the value. This is a pretty good deck for Starch Lord. I was thinking Potato in two. Wow, what is this? So that's gonna be an 8 8 frenzy. Crazy. Oh, we're gonna win. That's him. Yo, Dave! How can you show a deck? Take a screenshot with your phone and upload the screenshot to Imager. IMG. Or put an Imager link in the chat. Uh, I do have a command for show deck, right? There it is. Oh, I have to change that because these PVZHeroDecks.com doesn't even work. What is this? <laughs> yep, that's swing on my cringe compilation. It's true. Uh, I've never seen that before. Cool. Too many of these. I said. Um. Let's look for like a. Oh. Oh, here we go. I think I'll do this on one, two, three. How do we do that? We always play this because he doesn't have any way of removing it. Sorry, it's just a little. Here we go. What's the worst heroes in your opinion, Fry? I'm stuck in Diamond 32. Not sure if it's because What's of the, the worst hero heroes. I'm using oh, sorry. The deck. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know. Maybe I should have given that health so he doesn't beat me up inside. Very angry. This will be good. Um. <laughs> Freeze. Okay. Okay. A uh, Triceratops would actually be amazing. Here. Should I just go with Barry Angry? This would actually be such a cute play. Brains! Getting them with the cheese! Okay, so what's the worst heroes? I don't know. It's hard to answer nowadays, but it seems like... Uh, ZMAX has been buffed a lot. Worst on the plant... On the plant side, the worst is Beta Caratina. Worst on the zombie side... Uh. Ooh. Beta isn't the worst. Same as the big beta. You're so beta. Here we go. So many people watch the stream on Sundays. What else am I answering? My brain's in slow motion today. Oh my god. Can go with this? I think we're gonna go with dinosaur and protect. Oh my god, this beeping is so annoying. I can't take it anymore, I'm sorry. <laughs> shut up! Just shut up! 
I'll turn the sound back on after the beeping ends. <laughs> I'm done with this guy. I've had enough. I've had quite enough. Just play Elderberry on top of this just to stop the sound. <laughs> True. This is so good. This adds so much value. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Getting a Planet of the Grapes in this deck is dangerous. We didn't even get it from the berry, too. So we're doing seven and four? Ridiculous. Why is there beeping? Because of this freaking potato mice. It like, beeps so loud. Can you chop that? You're annoying. You annoying. Maybe I should. I'm a dancer card. <laughs> These two aren't bad. This really isn't bad. And actually cover this. What's in the box? Blue. There's no point in doing this. I'm actually gonna cover this stupid fairy. There, we can turn the sound back on. We turn back on. That's what I was like. Zombotter. I don't know what these abbreviations was. PW. I don't even know what that is. Oh. It's the terminal wind velocity of a laden sparrow. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Dropbox. Mean Dropbox. No, the Dropbox, you have to create an account. Oh, no. No, you don't. Wow, what am I going to do about this deck here? You're running so many little basic cards. I gotta get rid of, like, the one cost one one, though, dude. That's not good. Is it my turn? Oh, look at this guy go. Look at this guy, Mr. Fancy Pants. <laughs> that was it, huh? Yo, dead. I should have used Barry Angry, though. Baby Fry have a superpower. Okay, so we're three now. This guy don't got nothing. He don't got nothing. It's a drawing card. I changed the score already. Fire Emblem Heroes. I think I just was looking at that game. Heroes, I think. These animated games. Just become a weeboo. <sighs> Pokemon Duel? Have I played that game already? <laughs> Why is everyone suggesting games? That's <laughs> my Pokemon, though. I want to play the original Pokemon trading card game. That would be amazing. I don't know about this against a Morticia. Sometimes they run bad chemists. This is better. Ah, uh, do I look for a card draw card? Mm, this should be fine. <clears throat> Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. It's my birthday, July 1st. Oh, here we go. <laughs> nice try. It's not bad for someone. Overshoot binary stars. Place on the ground so it doesn't get alien news. There's part of me that just wants to put a camera on the baby fries while they're doing their funny antics and just that'll be the stream oh be me up inside oh, i'm so tired right now 
Oh, here we go. I think this is fine. <laughs> oh, baby, we got Starch Lord. We got the root synergy. Yuck, guys. Probably gonna play a... That transforms. No one cares. As long as it's not a deadly minion, I'm fine. Perfect. Ha 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 ha! He felt the presence of the Star Lord incoming. Yo, guys! Wow. This deck's fun. But yeah, super cringy opponents today. If Mustache Waxer gave two brains, yeah, that, I think that would be really overpowered. This is okay. This is the same guy. Okay, gifted sub and the... What if I keep this? It's good against the Morticia, I think. Alright. Getting them with the cheese. Oh. Oh. Your hobby is ice hockey. I I could play Overwatch with followers. I'm just very picky who I play with. One in three. One in three. Ha <laughs> ha! Nailed it. Nailed it. Just concede again. Just concede. Oh, man. Ah, uh, yeah, Sundays have a lot of people come to the stream, so we're going on 200 now. Why high voltage current? It's a cheap way of drawing a card, which buffs your dinosaurs. Insane. Just so much value. So much value. What is this now? What was the three cost gravestone he was running? Do you guys remember? Gosh, people are... Chat, it's hard to handle when there's 200 people here. Wait, what is the... What was his three-cost gravestone? Did he play any gravestones? Gentleman? I'll go with this. It is gentlemen. Good good stuff. I wanna see a highlight vid, so go to YouTube and type in fry em up highlights. I have a lot of those. <laughs> Gotta fuck to the boss. <laughs> you can see this before turn three. Oh here's Great Buster. You don't come in handy, you guys. I got some options. I can go one and three. I can go four. Oh, this is tempting. Great Buster is not great here, though. What if this is a Bad Moon Rising deck? There's no good Great Buster play. I'm gonna go with this. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Bad Moon Rising next turn. Yes, wow. He didn't do it to the... Are you crazy, man? This Starch Lord is going to get so much value. Oh, this is this is insane right now. This is total, utter insanity. What is this environment of his doing? Okay, we just conjured a second Grave Buster. That's good. So the play is one in three, I believe. Uh, we really do want to kill this, so I think we're going to team up here. This is fine. This is insane. These are two two fours. Just saying. And here is a two three. He has seven. It's going to Bad Moon Rising on one card now. Helicopter. Okay. That's not bad. 
Hmm. So if I would have thought about teleporting in a guy that survives here, like helicopter, I would have considered a spike weed sector. We're we're still in great shape though. He'll have a six. This is a five cost card, so he'll have a six on the field. We have some very efficient plays coming up. Very efficient. Oh, 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 here we go. This is crazy. And he got coffee. Not even good. It's a 5 4 frenzy. This is one of the worst things he could have got. Six cost cards are generally very good. If he has a full field, that's obviously amazing, but no such luck. So we have two and three, we have four and two. Just go two and four and call the day. This is fun. I mean, we could just go face here now. Do you want to go face? This is a pretty valuable card. You know what, we're going to win the card advantage game because we have so much more card draw than him, so best to just trade as much as possible. Yes, first blood survives. Even though that blocks 8 damage. This is fun. <laughs> His name is Dr. Conceive. 5 and 0. Some proof they can't add me. You're almost making it like it's a it's like one of your rights. Um, to have me as a friend PvZ Heroes. If a person wants me to add them PvZ Heroes, just uh, make a small donation and I'll do it. I add people who donate two dollars or more. Uh, that's the only way I can do that in a way that would be whatever. I should do the appreciation way. This is okay. This is kind of sad. I'm gonna get rid of you. What a synthesizer you like always keeping your starting hand. They removed friendly battles? What? Hello, Revicap. Is that a sumo? I guess we want this to be anywhere except for against the sumo. Lima needs a nerf? No. <laughs> Every opponent can see this so far, I think so. Remove the Star Sword meme? What you guys are talking about. I haven't a clue. Here we go. <laughs> Big beefy car. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe the 3 5 to lane 4 is the best play because at least it'll block it for an extra turn. Okay. Send a deck with Imgur, I M G U R. Uh, no. We keep this to grow these guys. Definitely worth worth the grow there. Really, giving these guys 2-2 two, two, two total. Yeah, that's better. Man, this, this is getting crazy already. This is getting crazy. I think we're just going face here. Look at these guys. Look at these guys go. The alley noobs, perfect. Still doing seven bulls after this. 
Do I get annoyed when people ask the same questions? I don't know, not really. It's fine. Yippee ki yay, mother father. <laughs> this one first. This one first. The Overwatch video, I'm working on it. Ho 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 ho! Ha ha ho! He's not really gonna do damage. We can do that later, though. It's kinda cool. Okay. Locust Storm. Slow. I'll do more challenges and stuff, sure. Holy moly, what that? Wow, look what I found! Look what I found! Is there a way to get lethal this turn? <clears throat> uh, we just let Starch Lord die? Nah, we'll put this on heights. <laughs> also grows this one. We fun! Yay! This game's fun. This can't get alienates. Oh my god, this guy's dead. Guaranteed lethal. It's the fanciest way to kill him. You kill me up, so I can stand on my face. Oh my. <laughs> we found a better way for him to kill this guy. <laughs> the most BM value possible. <laughs> it hurts so much. Oh! Yo, Dan! Just saying. Aha! We have conjured extra BM value. <laughs> this is crazy! What is even going on, you guys? Well, I'll do the highlight. <sighs> Budget Brainstorm decks. Um, that's tough nowadays. You can do Professor Brainstorm. You can find them on YouTube. Just type in Fry Up Budget Brainstorm. Uh, the deck's probably going to be really outdated, though. I do plan on doing that again. Trying it out. This is okay. I'm not right. Best deck for Super Brain. So for budget players, Gravestone decks, very good. Gravestone Science. Um, what else would be good for Super Brains though? Really, any of the huge Gigantics decks are fine. Actually, Teleport Swabbies would be fine for Super Brains. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on today. <clears throat> You are garbage, Mr. Grinch. Such hot garbage. What is this? Oh, hey. Keeping this alive. I did get huge Giganticus. Every once in a while, huge Giganticus packs show up in the shop, but those are, they're pretty, it doesn't happen very often. Oh, he, got, he played super on one. I was like, how do you play all these cards right now? I'm happy he's played two, two out of the three now. Of the four cards he had in his hand. Oh my god, these mustache waxers. Not a mustache, though. Oh, 
Is this deadly? You just berry blast this one. Is it good enough? Yeah, this is gonna be very difficult to remove later on. This doesn't make this into a too long. These two will trade. This is okay. You can always do Triceratops and Berry Blast this one next turn if you have to play another mustache. It's trying to do some ramp mustache deck with HD. It's, it's not a very good deck. Why high voltage current? Cheap way of drawing a card. Got a trigger those dinosaurs. High voltage currents have been quite good. Not a mustache. <coughs> Excavator. Okay. We're not in amazing shape. Plans to shake me up. I actually had a friend who was convinced me to go down to a goatee. I'm actually planning on the opposite. I, I brought it down too much, so I'm planning on bringing it back up. More beard! Nice. I dig it. Environment here. No blocks, though. I never wanna hear you say. Uh, not in amazing shape. You think he has a bad moon rising? In which case, this would be the best play. Has he played the fourth card yet? I don't remember. A silver pill. Could have been worse. No two superpowers now. Bats. What's the best decks in the game right now? Um, for budget players, aggro solar decks and gravestone decks. Works decks are good. Not good decks. What is the top tier right now? Question. What am I gonna do? You know. Could be him playing a, just a big minion here, like a Mechasaur would be the best case scenario. Probably would be. Yes! 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 Oh, this is so good. I don't think that one needs any more health. Oh, this is so fine. We just conjured a Star Lord, just saying. Bam! Bam! Yeah, we doing it with this thing. Ha <laughs> Blob not getting it done. Blob without teleports is just useless. One of these are gonna get sucked in. We gotta keep that in mind. We are really putting on the pressure here. 
I don't know. You gotta block the seven damage, though. Oh, damn it. What a misplay. We need a miracle here. We need a miracle from this... Just to survive. There's a few cards that could come out of here, like the Canalith would definitely work. I might as well play this here. Um, bonus deck would, would win for him. Wait! Oh no! Oh! No, we lose. Man, if we... Oh, there's... This is can do seven. Oh. Uh, uh, Screw it up for him. Damn. Too bad. There were a few cards that would have gotten us out of there. If can look definitely would have. I think with five costs that does six damage, uh, Shamrocket would have would have definitely done it. Actually, no, Shamrocket can't get. Lawnmower would have been fine. Squash would have been fine. Ugh. Damn, I feel like I was killing that guy too. <coughs> Plankwalker, such a strong card. Uh, bum bum. Turtle tank. Sports. You have to, if you're running a sports deck, you gotta run four coaches and 14 mascots. That's a must. Uh, so definitely find room for those. Everything else here seems decent. Running Bad Wind Rising. A fourth going viral would be fine too. The one teleportation zombie doesn't seem to really be that good. It could be okay. You don't need the healers, also. This is fine. I think we'll keep the environment. Oh, he had Leap, so even if we would have had a Buchanalet, anything that didn't remove the Plank Walker would have made us lose. So this is a Squirrel Rat newspaper. Or Kanga. This is good against all of those. Newspaper would be the best here, but that's very unlikely. This almost always gets it done. Yep. Got him! <clears throat> this regular guy. He has dancers. He hasn't shown us a power yet. Buffing this into uh, evaporate. There's a lot of problems with this play. These two would actually play around lightning bolt. I think. I mean, we can always. What are we going to do next turn? I think this meteor always happens. The question is, do we want to go with you or with you? Right, because if he has dancers, this also survives dancers. Yeah, this is fine. This also survives backup dancers and will eventually trade with us. Here we go. We got <laughs> cool bean. <coughs> and it's evaporate. This is fine. We got a 2-3. He's got nothing. 
Uh, the donations do work when I'm offline. It's just obviously not gonna ring in a live stream. The only time it rings. I'm gonna uh, love to berry blast there. This could be a Kanga. I'm pretty sure this is the play. There we go. No. Oh, what did you say? This guy's. It's a dancing deck? It's a dancing deck. <laughs> He's so <dumb. coughs> Dang, this deck is kicking the big tissues. Dancing deck intensifies. We don't even need to really buff this yet. I think I'm gonna go with you. And you. I guess I'll play put this in a lane where it won't get alienated. That's fine. Just really keeping the value of that the flamencos as low as possible. Kills the one that doesn't die this turn. Setting up a chickening for next turn. I, I don't really. How can you donate? Oh, uh, we'll do this next turn. I'm trying to keep it. Here's the link. Thanks so much. We have three and three. We also have three, two, one. This is fun. This is crazily good. <laughs> We are very protected. These dinosaurs behind the primal walnuts, so hard to deal with. <laughs> Chopper will probably get value against a dancing deck. There's there's cards, especially Headhunter, that this thing can just chomp. Okay, so that's a 3-3. That does nothing there. Ugh, this guy. Just gonna very blast to make it random. He already used Evaporate. Evaporate's actually the best one. The Lightning Bolt is good there. Yeah, it's an overshoot. We can use the jumper here for that. I think the chomper is good here. What do we bury blast? That's the real question. This one? Do we do more face damage? I think so. Anything he could play, Maniacal Laugh. Maniacal Laugh is six damage. So we're just investing that into seven damage. Ridiculous. What a rain. That was a one cost seven seven of value. Overshoot environment. No one cares. Uh it's gotta be lethal. We need double threes. And we're seven and one with this Fidad deck. What is the most fun plant deck? Um, most fun plant deck. You can just type in fry him up RNG Jesus plant. Uh, you can also probably mol just type fry him up molecule. There's a lot of fun molecule decks. Those should be the most fun ones. Anything with a molecule. Factoria? Do I own all the cards? Yeah. Not 
have this bird's eye view factory game. I don't like uh this will be a good answer. Oh, well, the problem is, is that if we play sumo here, we're screwed. I'm gonna do this. This would be a nice answer to the team mascot on turn three. But... It's just if he plays sumo next turn, it screws up our tempo so bad. We have to play this Triceratops turn. Main here in Overwatch is Junkrat. But I do play some McCree, Lucio, Reinhardt, a little bit of Monkey. Uh, Bastion. Bastion's fun. Oh, the scoreboard die? Thanks. This is fine. Dear. Uh, Dylan, there's no asking for games, I'm sorry. That's very inconsiderate. Not very. It's a little exactly. interesting. Um, so this is the play. We can actually shamrock it that next turn. This is the play though. You gotta kill this man. Of course. The cat's getting buffed. Very buffed. Nice. Seven now. How many environment cards per deck? Uh, three or four is usually the correct amount. Some run zero though. I'll see you later, Gabe the Blade. Rolling Stone. He's out of cards though. I guess that's the good news. Brawl Stars back. I don't plan on it, but anything's possible. Yeah, yeah. Only has one card left. It's probably not Weed Spray. Oh, Any decks with more than four environments? Um, yeah, the decks with more than four environments are um some of the heal decks which decks had more than four environments in it um the okay the plant i'm pretty sure the red planet deck there was a chanzilla red planet so if you type in frame up red planet you'll find that deck it's basically the only deck i've ever used with that this is a pretty good play Making it rain. He should have very blasted this one. Should win here. 
heal. Heal would say. Nope. Hello, Kuro the fan. Yeah, this deck's doing well. This Dark Lord really has helped, if we weren't able to take over the dinosaurs, really help set up these the big plays in the late game. The rain has been getting such incredible value. This is really one of the best swarm plant decks I've ever made. We've had some swarm zombie decks. Swarm plants? This is really the one. Amazing. Tempo Solar Flare deck and Conjure Gondola? Tempo Solar Flare has more than four environments? Really? Our Leap deck's good. Conjure that works well. Uh, thank you so much, Dylan. Really appreciate it. Hi, Dylan. Horrible hand. Alright. Oh, we're not in good shape. We're in such bad shape. This is a really strong answer, deck like, too. I can't. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a functional stream. Best plant hero after the patch. No, I'm gonna have to think about these questions. I feel like I haven't really formulated like what's the best after the patch. I feel like I'm still trying a lot of things. The meta's still getting defined. I don't have a play! I have no plays! We are dead over- this game's basically over. To come back from behind in a deck with all- we didn't get any ones or twos. Ridiculous. We got both of our Grave Busters. Great. Against a guy who's probably not even gonna end up playing a gravestone. Hey, Roxy. Hello, Lieb. We're making another set. Oh, cool. Oh, it's Kleb. How you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna feature your stuff in the review. Hopefully. I do not know what to do. Okay, we can grave bus now. It's too late. Uh, I don't even. Okay, we have to get rid of this freaking bullseye. Hopefully, our blocks can get us back into the game. Ugh. Ugh. Thank you so much, Noah Beast, for the hundred bits. Why here? He's gonna lightning bolt this one. Kill the team up on that dude. Because I don't need the sparks. I need to get some calories in my body right now. What is this garbage? Why are we getting all hot garbage? I can't believe this. I can't believe it. He passed. Great. Wonderful. We're not blocking. So will hopefully get us back into the game. This is so sad, though. We need some blocks. We need him to not have a crazy turn four play here. It is chickening. This will survive. This will die. This is okay. I'm gonna do this. Give me something good, please. Okay, that's actually perfect. Right, here we go. If he plays just a big minion, come on, man. We're actually back in the game now, just because he's know, turn four chickening it wasn't enough. Why? Okay, we're out drawing him for sure. 
We're actually really <laughs> now we're ahead all of a sudden. Oh, uh, okay. This turn six play isn't bad. We have a lot of versatility now. And we're actually gonna keep on getting these roots. Another one. These are not team ups. Cosmos and Veggie Mutation. I can try it. I feel like I've done that before. Brain Vendor. Got that from Eureka. Alright, so we're always grave busting. That happens a thousand percent of the time. Yes! Yes! Wow! Nailed it! Nailed it! Uh, I'm not gonna play the second one. I'm gonna make it rain instead because we want to be able to play the big 5-5 five five next turn. Amazing. Uh, so now that's all everything our opponent has. So we're gonna be doing um, 13 out of 20 here. <laughs> oh, sadness. Oh, sadness. This is amazing. And we have answers to big cards, answers to small cards. Great buster, we have this, just in case. Starch Lord carrying us through this game. Getting us exactly what we need. Oof. This is nice now, because then we can, hmm. I feel like the alien ooze is sort of inevitable here. Okay, we, so we want to move this. Hmm. I think playing defensively is actually the smartest play here. So what are we gonna grow? Just this. It's in the box. We might get something better. This is fine. Move it here. We're just doing the most damage this way. It's a 10-4, just saying. This is a one cost these got these one cost Velociradish hatchlings. Until this deck, I don't think I've ever even tried running these in a deck before. These things are incredible. They're so cheap and they grow so quickly in a deck like this. Ridiculous. Maniacal Laugh. Wait, that'll be five. No, Maniacal Laugh makes him win. Oh, wow. You're right, I should have moved it here or here to play around Manika Laugh, since that's his out. It's a good point, you guys. He wins with Manika Laugh. This was his third Eureka card, eh? Okay. <laughs> Tense. You're right, I should have moved it here to play around Manika. Good point. Good point. Alright guys, 9-1 with a root deck. Um, were the opponents today subpar? Yes. Were the... Um, did this deck perform well? Absolutely did. I mean, ridiculous. Amazing. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Peace. This is Fry.